all right so let's make this one true and sweet how's it going everybody hope you all doing well hope you all doing great and in today's video we're gonna be talking about the ryzen 3 3100 and the ryzen 3 3300x i'm pretty sure you've heard of it but we're here today to compare it to a cpu from intel that provides the same specs and i think it will provide the same results but maybe the ryzen cpu will be better so yeah these are somewhat of a benchmarks you know they're not leaked of course because the intel cpu is here it's been there for like three years now or maybe four but before you get into it i just want to say that i called it out before a lot of people i was talking about that the ryzen 5 2600 needs to get a replacement because there isn't any use of getting it over the ryzen 5 1600 af it's pretty much the same cpu and we need that cpu that gives you a good ipc single core performance and good clocks so it can push uh, your gpu to get a lot of frame rates in these competitive esports games so we're here and we're looking at the ryzen 3 3100 which can boost all the way up to 3.9 gigahertz it's a quad core a threaded cpu and the ryzen 3 3300 x which is again a quad core a threaded cpu and also it can boost all the way up to 4.2 gigahertz now before you say oh it's simply a ryzen 3 3200 g but you know they removed the gpu from it i mean that's what i thought at first glance but then i double checked and i found that the ryzen 3 3200 g and the ryzen 5 3400 g are based on the zen plus architecture which are the second gen cpus the second gen ryzen 5 2600 and all these you know old lineup but these cpus are based on the zen 2 architecture i believe the 7 nanometer architecture and it, you know it supports pcie 4.0 so you can add it to a b550 board and all this beautiful stuff and the pricing should be around $100 for the Ryzen 3 3100 and 120 bucks for the Ryzen 3 3300X. Now with that said, I found a CPU that's pretty much comparable to the Ryzen 3 3300X. And yes, you're looking at the i7-7700. Now it's a cable lake CPU. I'm that said CPU from Intel that I think is like, I believe three years old now or even older. But the thing is that these cable lake CPUs are so good and it gives you a great game performance till now i mean the 7700k you cannot get it for under 250 bucks which is insane because that great overclock ability and that high single core performance and this is all what games need now they only need a quad core 8 threaded cpus but that when disregarding these really cpu intensive games like city skylines for example or other games so yeah i find the ryzen 3 3300x pretty comparable to an i7 7700 which is the 9k edition so it's a non overclockable cpu and that cpu has a good ipc as it can boost all the way up to 4.2 gigahertz so it's pretty much the same but i think the ryzen 3 3300x takes the edge of course because we'll find a better ipc ipc that's comparable to the 9th gen you know intel cpus which is awesome like so i found a little video with the i7 7700 with the gdx 1660 ti playing fortnite at low settings and the results were insane you can get at around 240 frames per second and that's what we need you can now build a gaming pc for around 500 bucks then can play fortnite and these competitive fps games at high fps but right now as you're looking at the i7 7700 i believe that this cpu would deliver even better performance you know and i guess we will find great results we finally are going to get some budget gaming pcs that are capable of playing high fps intensive games without any bottleneck so i'm thrilled i'm thrilled i wish i could get my hands on this cpu i don't know maybe i contact amd i don't know hopefully I, you know what i'm gonna give it a shot i really want to get my hands on this cpu but stay tuned and uh, thank you for watching what do you think let me know and i'll see you in the next one peace